here's my calendar. Here's my calendar app. It's on my phone. I'm just going to open up my calendar. We're going to look at look at the, the view. Um, uh, the view, this what the view that I'm seeing now is you can see September, October, November, December, January, February. Um, you can change this view. And if you open up your calendar, which I encourage you to do as we move along, um, you may open up to a different screen. So part of getting used to the calendar is knowing how to get to this screen and that screen. So if I go down here, you can say, you can see that here it says today, here it says calendars, and here it says inbox. I'm going to start with today. I'm going to tap on today on my phone. And it's the 19th. Um, you'll notice that I have, I can go back to October if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to click right on the 19th on my phone. And if I click, uh, it says that I have no events, but I know that I do have events today. So what I have here is my calendar appears to be empty, which I know it isn't. I know I have lots of things going on today. So I have to check and see which calendars are turned on. I have more than one calendar. So if I look down here to at calendars, I'm gonna tap on calendars and see. Oh. So I have one calendar called Janie Hobson DuPont. I have one calendar called Contacts. I have a calendar called Holidays in the United States. Um, I have, oh, I'm scrolling down. We can't, we can't, I'm going up and down here. I know that this iCloud calendar is my main calendar. And I have a calendar for home and I have a calendar for work. And I could add another calendar if I wanted to. But I'm just going to look at, don't worry if you, you can't follow along right now, we're going to construct all these things. I am going to turn on my home calendar and my work calendar. So these little circles, by the way, are called radio buttons. I don't know why they're radio. I don't know where that name came from, but I do know they're called radio buttons. So I'm going to tap on home and work. And those are my two main calendars. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to done and let's look at my calendar now. You can see that I have Rowan. I put Rowan in, I'm picking up Rowan at noon. I have that, but there's one calendar that's missing and it has to do with this class. When I sign, how I get the link to log into this class, I sign up for the class myself. And Amy sends me a link that goes into my Google Calendar. So that's another calendar that I have to turn on. So I'm going to go to Calendars. And here it is, Gmail. So I'm going to turn on my Gmail calendar right here and also my contacts. And I don't, I don't want to see the holidays. I mean, it's, it's kind of fun, but I'm not going to turn the holidays on right now. So I'm going to click on done. And now you can see that I have three calendars showing all at once. I have the one that Amy sent, sent out. Janie Hobson DuPont, iPhone, OS 15. Well, this isn't this week, this was two weeks ago, but this is the, um, the class that's showing up, uh, reminding me, and there's the, the Zoom web link. So that showed up on my calendar. Amy sent that to me when I signed up for the class. And it's, you can see it's a different color than my, my um, home calendar. And that's, that's it for today. Now, if I go to another day, let's say I went to yesterday, I'll click up here on the 18th, that day will show up. On the 17th, this day shows up. So all these days 
have my my uh, my schedule for me. And if I don't refer to my schedule, I'm going to forget. I'm going to add a calendar. So down here where it says calendars, I'm going to click on calendars and I'm going to ignore the calendars I have and down on the bottom in iCloud. So this calendar will be in iCloud, meaning it's going to go to my phone. It's going to go to my computer. It's going to go to my laptop. It's going to go to my iPad because they're all connected through iCloud. So I could add a calendar in Gmail, but I'm not going to do that now. And you may not have the Gmail option because we have not turned that on yet. But I'm going to add a calendar in iCloud. And down here where it says add iCloud, add calendar, I'm going to click on that. And here it is, add calendar. So I'm going to click on that. I clicked on add calendar two times. So I'm going to give this calendar a name and I'm going to call it class example because I'll probably delete it. And you can see it's an iCloud account. And I can even change the color. Maybe I'll make it, well, I'll leave it blue. And then I will say done. So now I have a new calendar called class example. And you can see it has a little check next to it. So that's the calendar that I'm going to see when I say done. All right, so I don't have any events. I'm going to add an event to this calendar now and I'm going to do it on the, in the 19th and be on the 19th. And here's the plus sign. So I'm going to add an event right now. I'm going to click on the plus sign and I am going to pick up Rowan at 12 o'clock. I'm going to type in, in the top line, pick up Rowan. And this is not an all day event. You could turn that on if you wanted. Now we're going to add when it starts and when it ends. I have to pick her up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this to a different time. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna pick her up at, I click on this time here and I have these scrolly wheel things. I'm gonna pick her up at 7 p.m. And it's New York time and it ends down here at 8 p.m. Now, if I had to pick Rowan up every evening for a week or once a week, a lot of appointments are once a week, we are going to repeat this appointment every week. So I'm going to go down to repeat and I'm going to click on this little arrow and I'm going to say I'm going to repeat it every week. You can customize it. If you're putting in someone's birthday, you can do it every year. But Every week seems to be something that we do frequently. And you can add travel time in. Maybe I will add travel time in. Uh, travel time, I'll say 15 minutes. And the calendar that this is in, because remember I have four, now I, now I have five calendars. The calendar is class example. And I could send an invitation to someone if I wanted to, which I'm not going to. Um, you can also set an alert, 
which I need. So I usually say, I want my first alert to start two hours before my event. So I'm gonna say two hours before my event. And then I'm gonna give myself 15 minutes to get myself out to the car. So I'm gonna have a second alert too. 15 minutes before travel time. And those are the things, and you can add notes. Sometimes if I'm going to someone's house to help them, I will put special notes in here about what they wanna do or where they, if they have uh, like special directions to get to their house, if, if they're on a dirt road that doesn't show up on GPS, I'll put notes in here. So this contains a lot of information. It's almost like a personal assistant. Oops. And then at the end, you click on add. And so now I have pick up Rowan on the 19th. So now I have uh, uh, this, these two events. And you can see that um, I have repeated these two events every Tuesday. Now, do you see these little dots here? Right oh. here? That means that I have repeating events. If I go to November, I'm going to go back. I'm going to click on October and, and check out November. Do you see those little dots there? That means I have repeating, I have something going on. That's a repeating event. One nice thing you can do is you have a search tool. Now I'm, I'm in this, I'm in this view now. Um, I, I can go back to October. There's October. It's very intuitive once you get used to it, but you can search for events here too. So if I click on the search tool, I can type in, I'll type in Rowan and all my events for Rowan will come up or lunch. I only have two events in this calendar and all my lunches will come up forever and ever and ever. I never put an ending date. So um, I put a repeating, I put it to repeat every week, but I didn't tell it to end. So let me show you how to edit an, um, an entry. Do you notice how this lunch never ends? It'll go on infin to infinity. Um, let's say I want this to end uh, at the end of 2021. This particular, this particular appointment, I want it to end. So that means I have to edit this appointment. So I'm going to open it up by clicking on it. And here's lunch. And up here in the right hand corner is the little edit button. So as long as I tap on lunch, this edit will only edit this appointment. So I'm going to click on edit and here it is. So it starts at 1 p.m. Lunch starts at 1 p.m. It ends at 2.30. It repeats weekly. But you see here, end repeat, never. It never ends. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to click on this little carrot. And I am going to click on on date. And I will go to the end of 2021. So I'm gonna click on this little carrot. I'm in November here. I'm gonna click on this little carrot here till I get till December. And my last date for lunch will be on the 28th. So I'm gonna click on the 28th. So I just set an end date for the lunch. And I will go back. And now it ends on December 28th.
settings we have under calendars, just for fun, okay? Um, so let's get back to our main screen. And as, as we spend so much time in settings, no point in avoiding it any longer. We're going to go to settings and open it up. And here we are, this is what I call home base. It's the first screen in settings. And this is where we really control everything on the phone. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to use my thumb and scroll down until I get to calendar. Siri and search will allow Siri to learn from how you use your calendar to make suggestions across apps. So if you turn this on, this is what happens with me. When, since I have this turned on, when I leave the house in the morning, the calendar knows where I'm going and it will give me a, an alert on how much time it will take me to get to that person's house. Right now, my phone knows it's Eastern Standard Time, right? If I click, if I turn it on, the phone's not gonna pay attention to where it thinks it is. It's only gonna stick with New York time because that's what it says here. You could, ch you could click other, uh, if, you know, you could say California. The time zone override controls in the iOS settings can stop your calendar appointments from shifting to the local time when you travel. So um, now this is actually is pretty cool because if you look at, uh, now I'm wiggling up in the upper left-hand corner and it says calendars. I'm going to click on that box and the side, the left side panel disappears. And here are all my calendars and I can turn them on or oh, I'm going to turn these calendars off just by clicking on these boxes. Now I have nothing. Now I'm just going to turn on class example. These are the, the events that I've added this morning. I can add my work, which is my main calendar. I can add, I can turn every, I don't know what I have in home. I just have a few things in home, it's not very many. I can turn that off. I can just see con, uh, holidays in the United States. States. So here's Google. These are, I have three Google calendars. I have Janie Hobson DuPont, uh, in Google, I have contacts, which have, have to do with the contacts I have in my Gmail account. And if they, if for some reason I have their birthdays, it will show up here. And holidays. Now, this is just my Google. Let's look at iCloud. iCloud's easier. Um, there's my home, my work, and my class example. So in this class example, um, how do you add, uh, how do you add it on your computer? Well, it's the same deal. Do you see the little plus sign up here? Mm -hmm. um, you click on the plus sign and you're going to create a quick event. Um, let's see, I could say, um, well, I'm going to use their example, movie at seven. And what comes up is, now can you see this little window here that it says movie today, seven to eight? Yep. Okay, I'll click on that and it just added a movie. So that's, that's called a quick event. It's really easy to add. Or I could go 
I here's my mouse over October 20th on my computer. I'm going to click click two times using my mouse and add a new event. I'm gonna say lunch. And I'm getting suggestions 12 to one. And then I can also go down here. It says add alert, repeat or travel time. If I click on this, I can repeat it if I want every week. Um, I can have an alert. Um, are you seeing these little uh, pop-up windows? Yeah. Okay, 15 minutes before. And I can add a second alert if I wanted to, maybe an hour before. So I have one alert an hour before, one alert uh, 15 minutes before. And I can even change the color if I wanted to. Oh, no, I could change the calendar here if I wanted to. I'm going to put this in class example. And so there it is. Um, it's a, it, I think it's kind of easier to do it on your computer, but you can, it, it, it's this, it's the same stuff, only it's laid out a little bit differently. You can see the entire year, month, week, or day up here. So this gives you a really good example of how you can have more than one calendar and it has the potential to mess you up if you have one of your calendars turned off. If you have all your calendars turned off or you might think you've lost your calendar, but all that means is it's turned off. It, you, you can't view it, it's here. And that's a really important thing to know about. Um, we have to make sure that our calendars are backed up to iCloud because um, if they aren't, then if you lose your phone or if you somehow delete a calendar by accident, you can get it back on iCloud. Um, let me show you how to be sure it is being backed up on iCloud. Well, go to settings. This is super easy. We've all done this before. And go to the, um, where it says Apple ID and iCloud. iCloud, 200 gigabytes, I have that. You click on this. You can see that um, iCloud backup is on. And I'm gonna click on this little arrow. And if iCloud backup is on, and I'm just looking for calendars, there it is. You can see calendars is being backed on, be backed up because it's green. So you go to your Apple ID, iCloud, and calendars. And then how do you get to your um, iCloud? That's the next thing I want to show you. Um, if I go up here and I type in iCloud.com, now I'm on my computer, here is my iCloud, and you can see here's my calendar, and it's backed up. So if by any chance you delete your, anything that you delete accidentally, is will be kept in iCloud for 30 days and including photographs. So um, that's really a really good thing to know.